an SME on an epic growth story. This is the beginnings of a new future fit factory in Poole for Parvalux. We were acquired by a company called Maxon uh, three years ago, just over three years ago. And they're incredibly passionate as well about sustainability and about their environmental impact. And whilst Parvalux has been in existence for about 75 years this year, uh, we're incredibly privileged to be able to invest in a new multi-million pound factory. Uh, and one of the goals of that was to create a carbon neutral factory. And we've been able to do that with this fantastic solar PV behind us, which roughly 1,500 PVs uh, with the capability to add more as we grow. The company planned to amalgamate operations from its three existing factories into this single purpose facility. That means from a machinery perspective, it's out with the old and in with the new. A 75 year old business is naturally gonna have a legacy of, of some old equipment as well as some new. Uh, we've just recently approved a three million pound investment in capital equipment to go alongside this new building because we want to be investing in our people, in our skill set, in the technology, and we don't want to move into a, a, a brand spanking new building um, with kind of 50 year old machinery. So something that we're looking at at the moment is kind of how our, how our systems are automated, but then also how, what that means for our people, uh, because again, we're, we're heavily invested in people and skills development. Uh, it's not a case of investment in automation to lose people, it's a case of investment in automation to allow our team to upskill to go on to bigger and better things. Parvalux is the UK's largest manufacturer of fractional horsepower electric motors and gearboxes, but its end applications extend further than this. We're predominantly big in the medical industry, so we do stair lifts, patient hoists. We got heavily involved at the time with the COVID uh, pandemic on the ventilator motors, and we worked extensively with F1 teams and the government to supply ventilator issues for people who were obviously had issues at the time. The growth plan of Parvalux is an example of a future thinking strategy large initial investments for long-term rewards. Our owners are trying to be passionate about investing in the long term. They're, they're very much not a short-sighted company. So we have a mission for 2030, and then we have an extended mission going out to 2014-50. And really, when they invested in this site with us, they asked us to look at a 50-year plan. And the goal behind that was all about Parvalux's investment in innovation, sustainability, uh, digitalization as well. A plucky manufacturer with large ambitions. A growth which means we won't be referring to Parvalux as an SME for much longer. <laughs>